kicking with the 2-0 lead. Yeah, I mean, they know that that's what we got to do. Um, you know, we got to we got to make them feel us. Um, we got to, you know, pressure the ball, make their entries tough, make everything tough for them. Um, and we got to we got to take care of both boards. You know, we got to take care of the defensive boards. We want to make money on the offensive boards. That's what we got to keep doing. The offensive glass is something that obviously you guys have emphasized more this year, but we haven't really seen an, an offensive glass performance out of this from you guys during your time here in Milwaukee. Just what do you think was the difference there on the offensive glass? I guess you got to miss the shot first. Um, you know, they got to go get it. You know, the guys are just, they got a mentality. Um, they know the offensive boards are important to us. We've been trying to work on it. Um, and the carryover, we just got it. We got to do it again in the next game. What do you think of you guys' maturity to handle a big lead? I know we talk about it all the time. Leads kind of tend to disappear in the NBA, and they just kind of handled it. Yeah, it's tough. You know, lots of times, um, you know, there's just so much talent in the league, so many good teams, and, um, you know, sometimes you get the early lead and, uh, you know, things just happen and it becomes a close game. So, um, you know, today, um, you know, we were able to keep the focus and keep it. Uh, so, obviously, a good thing. Zora Stevenson. Coach, on Saturday, you talked about the importance from improving as a team game one and game two. How do you feel like the guys followed through on that tonight? Yeah, we just got to keep getting better. Um, you know, between two and three, we got to get better. So um, I think the locker room knows that uh, that that's what we got to just have that mindset of getting better. Jim Mozarski. Like, uh, I mean, Brim going off like this, this is something you have seen all season. But I mean, what, what kind of lift did that provide, I guess, to have him be that? <laughs> Efficient, proficient, uh, right, right away. Yeah, no, I mean, when you make shots, it opens things up. You know, um, we got to share the ball. We got to play with each other. Um, and, you know, I think get good shots, uh, attack the paint, attack from the three-point line. Um, you know, so certainly when uh, Bren and Pat and Chris and um, different guys are making shots, um, you know, hopefully they're getting the ball on time, on target, things like that. Um, you know, good things happen with us for us when we play with the pass. You guys played with different levels of composure these last two games. You know, in, in game one, it was to, to win a game, close a game defensively. Tonight, obviously, you know, there's some hard fouls. There were technical flavors. And stuff. How did you see um, your team sort of handle that in kind of the crucible of playoff basketball? Yeah, no, I mean, there's a lot of emotions. There's a lot of things happening, um, you know, so you, you just have to keep your composure. You have to understand what you're dealing with, um, not give back anything. Um, so the guys just got to continue to do that. Steve McGarvey. Just how do you explain the difference in three-point accuracy from the other day to tonight? Is it just matters? Some nights shots are falling, some nights aren't. But how do you turn around from 5-31 to... 22 three-pointers tonight. Yeah, no, you just got to keep playing the right way. You got to, you know, guys got to shoot it with confidence. They got to let it fly. They got to know they're going to get threes, um, you know. And so, uh, you know, I think the activity offensively, the attack can create good looks for us. And we just got to continue to, you know, let it fly when you're open. All right, thanks, bud. All right, thank you, guys.